So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 44, the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle is 35. The length of the base is 10 centimeters. How many centimeters are in the perimeter? What an awkward way to ask a question, huh? How many centimeters are in the perimeter? They could just say, what is the perimeter? But uh, anyway, um, so you have an isosceles triangle. The vertex angle of an isosceles triangle is the one that's opposite the base. It's the one that connects the two isosceles sides. So maybe this thing looks something like this, where these are the two congruent sides. And this is the vertex angle, so this is the guy that's 35 degrees. And then these two base angles have to be congruent. And the length of the base is 10, 10 centimeters. So if the sum of the measures of an angle, the sum of the measures in any triangle is 180, and uh, then we could find the measures of these two base angles if we wanted to. Um, maybe we don't necessarily need to. What we might try, if we're trying to find the perimeter, we need to know the lengths of these other sides. So rather than work on this whole isosceles triangle in its entirety, why not drop a perpendicular here, an altitude, right, and then just draw half of this thing. So instead of what we have now, we could just have half of it. And if this is, since it's isosceles, this altitude is the angle bisector for that vertex angle. So this angle then is 17.5 degrees. And because it's an altitude, it forms a right angle at the bottom. So then we get, to, again, same thing. We could still find the measure of this base angle, but we don't really need to because we now know that because this altitude is an angle bisector, of the top, and this is 17.5, and it forms a right angle. It's also the if it meets the base at the midpoint, so it bisects the base. So this dimension along the bottom is half of 10. It's just five. And what we really need to know to get the perimeter is the length of these two isosceles legs, and that is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So we can actually just use trigonometry, right? We have Sokotoa, and we're in this situation where we know an angle, and it's opposite side, right? The 5 is opposite the angle that we know, and we want to know the hypotenuse. So for that, we use sine. So the sine of 17.5 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, where the opposite is 5, and the hypotenuse is h, which we don't know, and we need to rearrange this and solve for h, so we can multiply by h on both sides and divide by sine of 17.5. So we get h equals 5 divided by sine of 17.5, and I put that into my calculator and I find out that h equals 16.628. That represents the hypotenuse, there's two of those, right? One for the right side of the triangle, one for the left, so we double that, that's 33 and change, and then add 10 for the base. So this times two plus 10, final answer is 43.3, and the best choice is D. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, Drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.